My name is Jeffrey Stone. I am a professor at the University of Chicago Law School. Um, I served as chair of the committee that drafted the university statement on free expression. Universities should not take ideological or political positions. It's essential for universities to remain neutral with respect to these sorts of issues, um, because if they do take positions, it is likely to affect the willingness of their students and their faculty and their staff and others um, to disagree with the university itself. I think Chicago's commitment to uh, free speech is unique among American universities. Um, it is, from the beginning, it's been absolutely committed to the protection of free speech. The Calvin Report, which was enacted in the late 1960s, um, made very clear that in order to promote a freedom of speech and expression within a university, that it was imperative that universities themselves, and this university in particular, not take positions on political or ideological issues. Um, and that captured, again, the sense the university has of, in some sense, handcuffing itself in order to make sure that people feel free um, to contest ideas that they or the leaders of the university or the trustees of the university might disagree with, tough. There had been a number of issues around the country um, that raised serious questions about the role of universities in dealing with issues of free speech. There had been convocation speakers who had been canceled, um, there had been discussions about microaggressions and about trigger warnings, and Bob Zimmer, who is the president of the University of Chicago, uh, thought that it was a good time for the university, which is a long uh, tradition of uh, commitment to free speech, to have a formal statement that would encapsulate uh, the meaning of that uh, commitment. And so uh, Zimmer asked me if I'd be willing to chair that committee, partly because of my own interest in free speech and partly because um, I'd worked with him in the past in a variety of, of matters. Um, and we then uh, selected a committee. One of the first people I contacted when I was asked to chair this committee uh, was Greg Lukianoff, because I have respect for him, I had respect for FIRE, I wanted to know what FIRE's positions were on these issues. And we set off for several months to try to figure out um, what, whether we could articulate in a relatively brief form a policy that both captured the history and values of the university and also was a statement of aspiration uh, for the future. And in doing that, we consulted with uh, many people around the university, students as well as faculty. We consulted with people at other institutions. Uh, we consulted with FIRE um, and uh, former presidents and provosts, both of Chicago and elsewhere, to get a full grasp of the nature of the issues. And, then we work, went through the process of drafting a relatively short but we thought powerful report. In drafting the statement, I think we had primarily in mind the, the, the goal of articulating a set of values that any individual in the university who thought about um, challenging or, or restricting speech um, would have to go to first. And it's not a statute. It doesn't attempt to resolve every single possible hypothetical um, but to state in very powerful terms the importance of respecting the value of free speech, of resisting the temptation to try to censor, uh, of resisting the temptation to try to get the university to censor, um, and to understand that the response to ideas that we dislike is not repression um, or exclusion, it's debate and discussion and disagreement. Um, and beyond that, I think um, we certainly are delighted to see that other institutions are now beginning to look at the core of the uh, statement uh, as a way of thinking about how to articulate for themselves a set of values about free speech. At the University of Chicago, or indeed at any real university, the only appropriate response to ideas that we loathe is not censorship, but response.